Hello everyone, I'm back again. My name is LC and my on my channel here I talk about cultures, traditions and lifestyle. I'm the author and also I'm the owner of the Vision Production. That's where I do my writing. For those who don't know, I just published my memoir that talks a lot about the traditions, the cultures, the uh, lifestyles. And uh, a friend of mine, we came to Zimbabwe who was really eager to visit Africa, particular Zimbabwe, because I was coming here. So we are together here. We are spending four weeks together. And I'm talking right now about the experience that we are having. But today I'm at my sister's place and we are, um, you know, when I brought my friend, I just wanted to know what was their feel, you know. For those who, who haven't watched some of the videos, I took some videos about my friend, her experience, different things like that. And we are going to take a lot of videos that's going to talk about her experience and different things like that. But today, now, I want to talk about what my family, particularly my sister, how she felt. My sister, her name is Elena, and that's my uh, niece, her name is Sarah and some children behind, you know, they are enjoying their stuff. Uh, and maybe we might be joined by more family members. And the reason I'm really wanting to do this video is because of uh, the way how we look at other people uh, who are coming from other places and our concept. For those who are going to read my memoir, I talk about my grandmother when I told her, Grandma, I'm going to America, and I'm going to, I, I got married there. Her, her response was, in America, those people are not real people. <laughs> and she didn't mean to, like, she was mean about the American people. But it was, it, it's an understanding that's there about people. And, um, you know, so when I heard that, I was thinking, well, what does that mean? And she said, well, you know, those people, they, they, the black people there, they are not real people. They are called coloreds, okay? And, you know, to say that to an American, it's like an insult. So I wanted to, it's, this video is really like, let's all learn. Let's learn something. Let's, you know, learn about who we are. Let's learn about, you know, the different ways of how we look at each other. And sometimes expectations, you know, like, we think that the person is from here or they are look like this, maybe they set an expectation. So I really kind of want to know from my sisters, like when they saw my friend, what did they think? Sakakuma. I'm going to do a lot of translation myself. I'm going to ask in our language. She's going to say in our language. I'm going to translate and we are going to go back and forth. I hope it's not going to be too long, but I think it's okay. Sakakuma, you know, Okay, Pamakam you know, uh, I'm just asking her now, when you heard I'm coming with a friend, you know, did you hear that she said yes? And I'm asking her when Pamakam Kwa Timuruku Ndruku Yane Shamarianga Mangamichi Funga Kuti Kudin. What kind of thoughts were you thinking when you heard that? Okay. Yeah. So actually, she did not think I'm coming with a friend from America. She thought I'm coming with a, I'm coming, and then I'll grab my friends as I usually do. <laughs> And sometimes I walk around with them, you know, I have friends, I have many people that I know. So she thought I'm going to get one of those friends from Harare, which is one of our biggest cities, and then I'll come with them to um to, to your house. Sakapa Makaso Makazosias Makasosia Reen Kutichamwari plus Shaka Uyase Kwemuri. How did you know about the the friends that come from America and how did you how did you react? And how did you hear about it? In the case of how come I want to buy some Maria to an Abagato Bana, you know, America. Mhm. Ah, that is some is a man. Some Maria in Gamba, Brook, our name. 
<laughs> so, you know, my other sister told her, you know, well, you know, the friend is not from Zimbabwe. The friend is from America. So she was thinking, wow, how can a friend really come all the way from America to come to Africa to come with her? And she ni change chichi tikapo. Mangi mi chifunga kuti kudi. I'm asking her, what were you thinking then? You know, I mean, this friend is coming from America. Um, what, what, what was the thoughts? Thoughts? Nagadi, ah, manoti shwa murungu. Oga America. Unga baju kaba mbamba ngubana ba. Ah, andi fun. Pangwa ono gumira ake mamtaka. Okay. So when she heard that, the first thing they did not think about a black person. After all. My friend is very light in complexion to the point where everyone thinks she is white. So, again, another whole thing I want to bring in awareness, you know, especially for the African people, mainly for the African people, that awareness that, you know, in, in America, there's a lot of people, you know, during slavery, there was this whole mixture and, you know, uh, people were being raped and different things like that. And they were raped usually by their slave masters. So they, the slave masters were white people. So there's those people who come out and they really, they're so close to the white uh, uh, genes than to the black. And my friend is kind of like that. She look very light in complexion. And in Africa, because it's such a big difference, you know, they see that as white. So my sister basically thought, you know, how can a white person, because at that point, you know, she's thinking this person is white, you know, so that's all she could think. So she was thinking, you know, can a white person come to my village? You know, can she really do that? Because this is a real village. Of course, no running water. Of course, now in Zimbabwe, running water is no longer a village thing, even in the cities. But, you know, it's more remote. You know, life is just what it is and, you know, like that. So she was asking, can a white person come to my to my home? So, mangeme chifunga kuti pangwa ati uyere, nefra so, kana kuti mangeme chifunga kuti budi. Were you, what were you thinking? Were you thinking that we'll come or we won't come because of that or what? Nagadi wano uya. Nato shika wangari gira kushika ere pamba. Asi shi chendisha ita manji. Umurungu. Okay. There's a lot of laughter because, you know, she's, she knew I never, I never, um, like not stop the trip of coming to her house so anytime i come to zimbabwe i would always i visit all my my sisters and i visit them wherever they are pretty much i visit them wherever they are i go i go and see them so she was so sure about that that you know she will come here but then she wasn't sure or she 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 didn't know like you know, is this person whom she call white then, uh, you know, is it is that person also going to come? And then what am I going to do? Saka Makazo Dini Mufungwa Zenyu Maswa Kuswedera. I'm saying what did you do then in your mind, in your brain? What did you do? You know, to 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 organize yourself. Yeah, so What did you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so she just felt, well, this is from God. This is not how a person would just say, I'm going to the village from their city life, their you know, she never been here. She doesn't know anything about the country life of Africa. And she just, she wants to. So she felt that was God this way. And I am going to do the best I can. I'm going to give them what I have. And I am going to do the best I can to take care of them. And sure enough, we didn't see any manicured stuff here. We found exactly the same things that she had the same food that she she was going to give to anybody that's the same food she prepared and you know everything it was exactly like that saka i'm asking here now 
what when as we were coming makaita makaita sukunga mnozi ya moyo yao kuti eh bana ya kuya kana kuti mange mato zviga muchira zvange zvatopera were you anxious about us like as the time coming were you anxious about you know like that time or that trip or makandoti ngava uye or you just say let them come ndakatoti zvaizvo ndi mari zviri nyore nashika zvinenge zviripo ndo zvavano tongashira ndazonyadza kuti zvitarisa ndakasondo ndengo roho hane hana mahara takangofanana nokuti ndakazvona iya zvivata apa giringo kuti ukiringa okay so you know she felt that you know since it was done by god she really believed it's god's ways so she put it in the hands of god and say well this is going to be the easiest thing she ever did so she's just going to do as it falls as it what whatever comes that's the way she's going to do and she realized actually all what she thought or she was kind of thinking was not it because my friend got into the whole thing and was there to help was there sitting down with us where we sat what we ate what we where we went she was there and even the work she has this big garden that i talked about the other video and i'm going to show you this garden she she has a boho so my friend was helping out with the pulling water from the boho and you know like that she didn't think that she would do things like that but she felt like you know we are really same people and honestly i want to add something there to anybody listening because um what we see there's a saying that you know looking from afar we are like so different you know but when we actually come closer we are we look we are actually the same and i want to really like add on that uh, uh, saying because it speaks so loudly right now because uh looking at my friend and how you know what they think what they were expecting looking at her being with her eating with her the same food the, you know then things become very close and they feel we are not different people we are not different we are the same we are different in character but we are not different per se we are very much the same and our ways why i talk about cultures tradition those are things that can be different but as a human person we are the same this you know um so pama pataka zosvika makazona say makamuti mwini mi what did you say she was mainly makamuti chi murungu kana kuti munhu mutema mwini and akati murungu asi pakuzoita kwacho kokuti mandi nobikira ndakabata nganti ati amwe achati ndiro idzi hatinyatsi kuida na majo kana kuti makapo aya asa andi nachanda kachinja ipapo mandiro andai shandisa nemakapo andai mira nemadish acho mabaketo ndi zvese saka takangoti takafanana taingo zvitikira kure so she still she thought still until maybe i mentioned she still thought my friend is white but at the same time because she did not think she did not change anything she she just was like observing like this is what i have so you know she thought even the place should we change the place but she knew she couldn't change it so she felt like okay we just leave it the way it is everything was left the way it is and the way how my friend just made jean and just be a person that really um what do you call impressive it impresses her a lot and realize people we are the same so guys was just like a change here i'm asking her did that change your perception about people or, or when you think about a place or, or the type of people and anything like that so guys like a change here my owner i'm going to have to isho shi shi ndikati kuona my friend you know zvaka chinja here maonero munozoyo kuti avamwe vanhu vomuchaona vakasiyana nesu vanobva kumwe nezvakadaro ha zvaka chinja ndakasitoona kuti taitoti kakuti kugara nemurungu 
Ile tia chuo na suti nda se ili matini suti nda. Suti kafu sha chuo pa hano vata. Ino na katuo na mtoto kana na iye ofut. Ano abu suti ora kuti. Ndaka si ana nim. Wakango suti ora kuti. Tiriwa nutese. Nukuti shati no shanti sashi. Sipa kashi gashi la endi murufar. So um, yes, it did change the perception of how I think from today and moving forward, um, how she is going to look at other people. And I think it changed the perception of the village, those who met my friend, those who came to see. Because in the village, so many people, you know, came and meet my friend. And I'm going to have another video with my friend of how she felt about that. But, you know, so many people come, we gather and just, you know, we greet each other. So when they hear there's a guest, everyone come and, you know, and this was a little different guest. So maybe more people came and I believe it changes the perception. She said it changes the hairs. And, you know, she felt like if this person can do this, I think this is the way how people we are. It's just, you know, when we are given what we are given, we go along with it. And she said also, she added that she accepted our life without, like, uh, she was happy. She was okay. It's not like I'm being forced into accepting. But it was like, this is what it is. And she, she made in and she accepted and she was okay with it. And that made her to really change the perception of how she will be looking at other people in the future. Sakaiso Rishi, Chini Chomrukona, you know, Takus of Pedza Hedu, Takuenda, you know, and Ganibot in Nini Nini, Munoti Kudin. You know, what is that you see between, you know, like I brought this person, Dakoyan Muni, you know, um, we are finishing our journey and we are going back. Murukuti kudini. And you told me that I must not talk about food. You told me that I must not talk about food. Hey. Okay. You told me that I must not talk about food. Sisi tangu utika, ungo tika kuti tanga gara we ni neva kada. Ijo a pana mpita uko, kanda chete kudani onda siana. Raka siana. So her her thinking moving forward now is well, you know what? This worked out well. Why not bring in more people? So actually, that made me to think now. I need to maybe organize where people can come actually and not just come to the city. Yeah, you know, tourists, we come to the city. We are we are in the same New York, we are in the same Dallas, we are in the same Ch whatever, you know, city you live in. So the best way to come is really to come to the country, to the village. Have a day too with those people. Just see what it is like. And I feel like I, I'm... I'm now beginning a new journey myself. So uh, without taking too long to the video, I was just going to maybe ask maybe a few questions to uh, some of the family members. This is my niece who came just to find out what they just came yesterday. But there's another one who was here from the beginning. So I want to hear from them. <laughs> what are you thinking? So anyway, you know, they were really just happy because with her, I left her when she was a little girl. No, not too little. She was a teenager. Um, and then we didn't see each other. That was 1998. We didn't see each other until now. So she was just thrilled to come and see me. You know, this is she. So she came from her other home and come to her aunt. You know, so we met, met here. So you know, she was just thrilled. And then they found out that you know I'm coming with a friend. And of course, you know, they still refer her. A, 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 a white person. So I'm going to correct this on this video. Um,
I'm telling them, my friend is not a white person, but for America, when the queen is slaves, so when slave masters, right or when slaves are my Africans, it's rare now, you know, pretty much raping. So for you know, it produces a different than what I see now, like I just saw. You know, Kupa, But he, from that time, a long time ago, where he was to for one of my masters, right When you are younger, you to so I'm just, you know, explaining the situation of, you know, why my friend, you know, looking so light in complexion and looking almost closer to be like a white person. But as a room, in America, America, I not on the room. Clear, I not on the Can I chit to Pachake? Can I chin in the You know, so I don't know if it's good to move. Can I run one or two? She's out to you, Mutem. And also I'm going to explain, you know, what is really called a black person. You know, it's not just because we have the skin. If you can walk out of mana ne murungu, uri mundu mutema, mana wa mundu mutema. Saka ashinane basa na kutu mukadzi kana wati murume, mana wa mundu mutema. Because of our melon, you know, skin yedi yaka simba, you know, we didana ne, 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 ne. You know, so the skin is very like weak in a sense. So I'm just explaining that part, you know, for people to understand so they don't keep calling her a white person because in America, you know, we know, you know, if you are black, you don't want to be called white. So it's a, it's like, you know, it's an insult. So I'm just clarifying that she's not white, she is black, and I'm explaining why you know, she is black and I'm explaining you know all the details about you know why 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 a person like that can be called black and where did it begin why people like that they are there so with this video uh i'm going to ask you here and we are going to close um mercy that's another niece of mine <laughs> you know i'm just saying you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was just going to ask her, you know, what was her thought? Because also when we came here, she was also one person who received us here. And um, just wanting to know uh, what she think. How about Imimi? Because this is the first day. Because Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So according to her, I was asking her, what do you see now? What do you observe? What do you, what are you seeing? You know, because you know, everyone has different thoughts and different, you know, like you know what they are observing and according to her she's saying you know what i see the main thing is a person who is free person who is comfortable person who is not seeing themselves to be different from us a person who is able to mingle with us without any problem so we see that like okay we are okay with that because 
this person is a person that we think is different, but themselves, they don't see themselves to be different. That's what they are seeing. Saka Messi, I'm asking now her, she got a phone call. I hope she won't get another phone call. I'm asking her now. Pandaka Shrika Makafunge. Kanawati Pamaka Ngoti Ndirukuya. Nesha Mwari Mangeme Jizie. Changatika Jizie. Oh, so, so, so she didn't know that I was coming with a friend. Saka Pampanda. So, did Makato Ona Tan Mato Shrika? Do Pamaka Zona Ota Nesha Mwari Kanawati Maka Ngoti Ndirukuya. Okay, so with her, I think there's going to be different feels because she didn't know that we are coming. I was asking her, did you know that we are coming? She didn't because she doesn't live here with her mother. She lives somewhere else. So she didn't even know. She just knew that I came, but she didn't know that I came with someone. So, when you just look, what did you think? <laughs> so the first thing she heard was like oh my god there is a white person i'm still going to use that because that's the term they use i'm trying to correct that and she thought well how are we going to communicate what are we going to do because we can't speak english so what, what are we going to do? By the way, you know, everyone can speak English, but no one uses English. So I have to clarify that. People here, they went to school. We all learn English from first grade. And some of them now, they are actually learning English from, you know, kindergarten, fourth grade and fifth grade and so on. So most people, they understand, but they cannot speak because they are not used to just hold their tongue into English. So she was more concerned about how am I going to speak, even to say hello, you know, how are you, you know, how am I going to say that if I can't speak? How about the food? You know, so we, we actually had our, our traditional meal, which is sadza, and um, chicken it was salsa and chicken and she went on her head because we had already come from harare and other places eating those things so it wasn't uh, a problem so they you know everyone was comfortable so that's i would say this segment i'm going to close it and i thank you for watching and we have more of some videos coming this i was really just covering how my sisters felt and you know like that and then i will bring my friend again to talk about how did she feel about my family the neighbors the people she talked about people in general as a zimbabwe in other videos but i want to see how she she reacted with that living with them and really experiencing their lifestyle how did she feel about it? But this segment I'm going to close. And I thank you for coming. And they are, um, don't forget to subscribe and also ring the notification bell. And if you want to hear more about the cultures, the traditions, and the lifestyle, I just published my book, my memoir, Reasons for Living. You can get it on Amazon. Reasons for Living Your Life. So, you know that covers a lot of the you know traditions the lifestyles and different things like that but there's nothing like coming to zimbabwe and experiencing it yourself so those who are interested to maybe visit zimbabwe i'm thinking now i might maybe having trips coming to zimbabwe bringing people to come to the real life not in the city but to the countryside where majority people they live in the countryside the city it's just a place people they go to but majority people they live in the countryside so that's the real zimbabwe thank you for watching and hope i see you in the next video bye now bye everyone bye. <laughs>